If you ever get low back pain when you run, this one tip can make all the difference. Let's talk a little bit about running form. Specifically, how the way in which you hold your pelvis as you're running will really impact the amount of strain and demand placed upon your lower back. Okay, here we're really talking about muscular lower back pain. So if, we're, if you're suffering from something like sciatica or anything slightly more neural in nature, then this won't necessarily be specific to you. But if you're feeling that over time as you run, you feel more tightness and fatigue kick in to your lower back, either side of the spine itself, those big meaty muscles, quadratus lumborum, both on the left and the right, Right, then this would be something that you certainly would want to take note of. Okay, so perhaps you've been told that you run in such a way that looks like you're sticking your butt out or you bend forward from the waist. Now, a lot of the time, both of those traits stem down to a anterior tilt of the pelvis. This anterior tilt of the pelvis, this forward rock of the pelvis, can be described as thinking about the pelvic bowl, and if the pelvic bowl is a bowl of water, then if we're anterior, anteriorly rotated, then we're tipping the water out of the front of the bowl. Conversely, if we're posteriorly rotated, we're tucking our tailbone underneath us, then we're tipping the water out the back of the bowl. A lot of the time, what we see from runners is that they're in this anterior rotated position, and a lot of the time it comes from tightness through the hip flexors, weakness through their core muscles, and weakness through their glutes. Now, in this position, where you do find yourself sticking your butt out and, put, and, and leaning forwards, bending forwards from the waist, rather than this kind of whole body forward lean that we'd be after, what we hear from people is advice to run tall, to think about a piece of string out of the top of your head lifting you up, to think about running with an open chest, shoulders back and down. Now the problem with those cues is that if indeed you are fairly tight through your hip flexors and you're being pulled forwards into this anterior tilt, you'll notice how you've already got quite a pronounced arch of the lower back. Okay, your lumbar spine is already in quite a lordotic position here. Now, in this position, without correcting pelvic position, if I think about running tall, lifting my chest up, pulling my shoulders back and down, straight away, and you can try this now at home, straight away you'll feel there's more strain, there's more demand upon those muscles of the lower back. I can feel them getting tight just trying to demo this now. Now, instead of thinking about just simply trying to lift your chest up and, and almost kind of bluff running tall, I'd much rather you focus on lifting your hips up and forwards. Okay, so in this position, what I want you to do is put your hands around your pelvis. I want you to think about, again, the analogy I used earlier, the pelvic bowl. I want you to think about tipping the water out of the front of the bowl and out of the back of the bowl. Out of the front of the bowl and out of the back of the bowl. From this front position here, I want you to gently draw the belly button in, gently squeeze your butt. Don't go so far that you can feel that the water will be tipping out of the back of the bowl. Just come from the anteriorly tilted position back up to neutral. And you should feel that in doing that, going from here up to here, it's almost like you're lifting your hips up and forwards. And it's that hips up and forwards cue that I really want you to focus on when you're running. Because if we can get you to a position where you're lifting up and forwards and pushing forwards with the hips, not to the point where you're leaning back, of course, that would be ridiculous, but the point where you're lifting up and forwards with the hips and just feel like you're leading forwards from this pelvic position, then that'll help straighten you up and get you to a position where you can genuinely feel like you're running tall rather than having to bluff it from this anteriorly tilted position. Now, of course, there are plenty of exercises you can do to help yourself out in terms of getting out of this anteriorly tilted posture. Of course, things like plenty of hip flexor stretching, plenty of glute activation and strengthening work, and of course, core exercises as well to strengthen your core. They'll all help to correct this pelvic position and the imbalance around the hips and pelvis that are causing it. But simply thinking about running along with a cue of trying to run tall, that can actually start to get you into a position where you're gonna get that feeling of fatigue and tightness kicking in even quicker through your low back, rather than thinking about lifting up and forwards with the hips. If we're up and forwards with the hips, that in itself will get you into far more of this kind of whole body forward lean that we're after, rather than this that we see so much of. Check out this video over here for full details on how to use your glutes when running. It gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to start to undo the imbalances around the pelvic region that lead to low back pain. Okay, I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye now.